Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. I am here to do my June wrap up. The month started off pretty strong. I started with the Supernatural Enhancements by Edgar Cantero. I'll have a picture of the book right here because I returned it to the library. I actually did a full review of this, so I'll link it down below for those that haven't seen it or if you're interested in it. This is basically a mystery slash thriller um, with a little paranormal twist thrown in. It's about a 23-year-old man who inherits a haunted house and kind of the mystery surrounding the house and the person that used to live there. The book is written in a bunch of different formats. It has chat logs, transcripts, photos, um, notes, diary entries. I loved piecing together the story on my own and I really enjoyed it in the end. I didn't think it was a perfect book. The ending was a little um, strange but I really appreciated it for what it was and I think I'm really enjoying these types of books that are written in um, that format of found footage and just documents. I love that whole style. I think it makes it for a very interesting reading experience. I'm hoping to read more books like that in the future. I have a few in my TBR that I hope to get to eventually. The next book that I read was Another Country by James Baldwin. This book was so raw and emotional and gripping since it was so honest and so to the point and just you're watching these characters pretty much strip themselves and be vulnerable in every scene and um, it's kind of one of those things where you feel like you shouldn't be there or you shouldn't be witnessing those things and so you want to take a step back. I had to take breaks from it because it was so raw but it's also going to be a very memorable book and even though I couldn't stand a lot of these characters I have a feeling I'm going to be remembering them for a long time and that's credit to James Baldwin and the way that he can create these characters and set a scene and really put you there uh, whether you want to be there or not and you can't look away. It's just one of those books that forces you and puts you in a corner and demands that you look at yourself in a way that you normally wouldn't. Another Country is one of the earlier books that he published and I think it was really gutsy for him to publish this so early in his career. Um, I don't know, I think he was a very brave person and a wonderful writer and I'm really excited to read more of his work. And then the next book that I read was The Thing Around Your Neck by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. This is a short story collection. Every character is in a situation where they would eventually have to make a choice. That's kind of the theme that I took from it. I've talked about Adichie's writing before and how much I enjoy it. I think it's very authentic and honest and I love it. Um, she has this talent of you know, and especially you see it in a short story where she will write three paragraphs from her character's point of view and you already feel like you know that person and what they're about. Um, and I think that takes a lot of talent, um, especially when you're just inside a character's head. There's no third person point of view where you're getting someone else's input. So I really noticed that a lot in these short stories because every single story is a different character. And I was just amazed at how easily I felt like I was crawling into this character's skin and that's all credit to her writing style. However, I don't think short stories are for me. I don't know. I feel like no matter how well structured they are, no matter how well written they are, they always feel incomplete in my eyes or I always want more and it just frustrates me as a reader which um, I don't know, it, it makes me really think maybe short stories are not for me. That's just been my experience so far. I think I've read three or four short story collections at this point and I just always feel dissatisfied at the ending of every single one. I need closure and I don't really feel like I get that with short stories. So let me know if you feel that way or if maybe I just haven't read the right one yet. The next book that I read was Signs Preceding the End of the World by Yuri Herrera and this was translated by Lisa Doman. This is a short novella um, from the point of view of a young woman named Makina who has to cross the border in order to find her brother. And um, basically the story is of her trying to uh, find this land that her brother is in search of and to see if he was successful and what's happened to him on the other side. I was kind of disappointed in this. I had high hopes for it because a lot of people seem to love it. Um, but I found that it was just good on the surface. There was a lot of great prose and a lot of uh, interesting takes on language and very poetic at times, but when I really looked deeper into it, 
I found that it lacked a lot of depth and I don't think it's just because of the length because it is a short novella but just because of the way it's written it's almost deceptive to me in the sense that when you first read it and you first glance at it you're like wow this is great like I'm really getting a lot out of this and then when the chapter would end and I would move forward I would just feel like the story or the character hadn't really gone anywhere. Makina feels the same in the beginning and in the end of the book. I was just left wanting more and that's kind of disappointing because I really feel like Yuri Herrera is very talented and I can definitely see what he was trying to achieve with this. I just wasn't amazed by it. So um, I still think it's worth a read because it is so short and I think it's important to um, support Latin uh, authors but I just was not it's not something I would call like a favorite or something that wowed me. The last book that I read was A Fatal Grace by Louise Penny and this is a mystery novel it's actually the second book in a series. I've been really into mysteries lately and I have heard a lot about this author Louise Penny so I thought I'd give her a shot. This is actually a detective, detective series that centers around a Chief Inspector Armand Gamache. This series is set in uh, Montreal and Quebec and I thought that was really interesting because the author um, describes a lot of settings and landmarks and things like that that would, you would see in Montreal and a lot of the dialogue has little snippets of French which I thought was really cool. Also the mystery was really good. It started off really slow at first. I was really worried because I didn't feel like I was caring about any of the characters. I felt like there was a lot of setup and that kind of, I don't know, I, I really wanted it to just move forward and eventually it did. So I'm glad that I can say that in the end I really enjoyed it. It picked up a lot towards the middle half because by then I was getting used to the characters and all the different suspects and when someone was mentioned I could place them in my mind and so that made it a lot easier and a lot more interesting to read. I really like the main inspector. He is someone that um, is kind, super smart, and can read people really well and so because of that I really want to keep reading this particular series. I'm hoping that with each book Louise Penny gets better or the story gets better so I'm definitely going to be picking up number three and seeing um, where the story takes Inspector Gamache. But yeah, I'm really loving mysteries. Later on this month I'm going to be reading another mystery by P.D. James with Kate Howe and I can't wait. I'm so excited. Um, they're just a lot of fun to read and a nice change of pace. So those are the books that I read in June. I didn't read that much because I honestly didn't feel very good. I'm hoping that the better I feel the more books I pick up. I have a buddy read like I said that I have coming up and I also have some other books that I have checked out from the library so I'll be doing a library haul pretty soon here. So July is probably going to be a better reading month for me and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite read of the month was or what you read last month. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!